Bucky's. I don't know if you can even see the sinks, the stuff in the sink or not. I don't care. But it is Saturday. It's like 11. I'm getting a late start, but I was up late last night. So was the husband. So we just kind of chilled this morning. But game plan for today. We are going to clean the house because Saturday's our chore day. Um, but we're also going to read. I'm going to try for this weekend to do um, what one of my TikTok friends does. She does like this 24 hours of reading in a 48 hour period or how many ever days she allows for it. So basically you just have to read for 24 hours, not read in 24 hours. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain later. But, um, right now we're going to work for an hour and then I'm going to read for about an hour, whatever my, uh, my little clock thing tells me. Um, but yeah, that is it for right now. So we're going to go do some housework. I'll catch y'all up in a sec. Hey, I don't even know if I'm going to keep this because it's being shot on my phone. I'm having a memory card error, so that means I need, I need, I need a new memory card for the freaking phone. That's another thing to figure out. Um, hopefully that's the last bad thing. It's been a wild ride. Uh, for editing page, this is Wednesday the 20th. So Ethan is still, um, I guess not in the best of health. Um, like, he's fine, but, like, his foot is still really head in pain. I think he sprained it. I don't think it's broken. Um, but he's, we're, we're resting it. So, a lot of the household stuff has fallen on me, and I've been sick, and I spasmed my back this weekend, or this last weekend. Um, it's much better now, but I'm still having, like, some twinges here and there. It, it's, like, a little stiff. It's fine, though. Well, actually, let's start with, um yesterday yesterday i had a really bad day um i took a nap and then when i woke up from the nap uh it was like hell came upon earth and decided to fuck with me um basically i had some drama with um a video i posted it was a t-shirt review of a store that i used to work for if you look down below you'll notice i do not work for them anymore <laughs> um i was an affiliate for aaron decker creative and now i'm not um i posted in honest unbiased um t-shirt review she didn't like it um that's not bashing the company or anything um i you know still go buy from the shop if you want to they have some really good items um but in my honest opinion the shirt did not work for me there was a lot of problems with the shirt um with the pricing and everything tried to explain that to her tried to um explain why i did my review that way she didn't want to hear it unfortunately. Um, she also was very, very mad that I didn't inform her that I was, that I bought a shirt and I had problems with it, but, like, that would defeat the purpose of it being unbiased, because a regular customer would not have an in with her, um, to get, like, special, um, refunds or anything like that. It's just... Anyway, so I cut ties with them. I'm no longer an affiliate, um, but, my friend Ash does have a code. I will leave her um, Instagram down below. As as far as I know right now, she still has a code. Um, I also got into some drama with an author. Oh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, the close friends know, but... Yeah. 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 <sighs> so, that's all to say I've not read a lot. Um... I don't even know if I've read any this whole week or anything like that. Like, um, I'm trying to think, like, I'm mostly trying to think. I think the last two books, come here, baby. The last two books that I read, um, one was, um, Santiago Chronicles of a Young Traveler. That one was okay. Um, I felt like there was a lot of showing, not telling, um, or not... There was a lot of telling, not showing. There we go. A lot of telling, not showing. Um, a lot. Um, it was way too fast-paced. The characters weren't developed at all. The world-building wasn't developed at all. It was... Yeah. Uh, there's a cat. <laughs> I never get her on camera, so here we go. Um, so, yeah. It wasn't It wasn't the best book. Are you not such a good baby? You're such a good baby. Um... She, I read another book, and I was also disappointed by it. I can't remember. Give me a second. 
took me a hot minute, but finally remember what that other one was. It was We Bait It All Up by Margot Harrison. Um, again, that one was another one that was just okay. Three out of five, like Santiago. Um, Lord, it was, that book made me so uncomfortable, and I don't know if I just read it wrong or what, but basically there's this new girl in town, and it's told in, like, the whole story's told in this weird back and forth between then and now. I don't, I don't vibe with that type of storytelling at all, um, unless it's really, really well done. This was not really, really well done. It was every chapter was switching back and forth, and I don't like that because it often causes confusion, and it did confuse me. There was not a lot of, there was not a lot of reason for it to be constantly back and forth. I think maybe, like, a couple chapters in the now and a couple chapters in the then would have worked better, but whatever. Um, but anyways, so... This girl moves to town. She goes to a new high school. She makes a friend. And then they discover that they like writing fanfic. So then they start writing fanfic. But it's not like fanfic. It's real person fic. And it made me really uncomfortable. Because they were real person fanficking these two boys. And and having putting their tra placing their own traumas on these two boys. Writing in their traumas. Um, and one of the girls was, like, absolutely in love with one of them, and, like, it was, it veered on the fetishing side. I don't want to call it fetishing, but it veered on that side. Um, they were, it got to a point where they were absolutely, like, destroying these boys' lives, and then one of them dies, which is what you find out in the very beginning, one of them is dead. Um, and there was just, there was just a lot that was going on. It wasn't very well explained. The world building wasn't very well done. The w format of the story tale was awful. Just, it was it was not for me. So, three out of five. And besides that, uh, we've just been healing. Like, I've not been reading a lot, and now I'm behind again. And I'm stressing, stressing, stressing. So, I'm trying to do, like, 30 minutes of work, and then 30 minutes of reading to try to get some stuff done, because um, Edit Invincible is due today. So, I've been trying to read that. Um, it's pretty good. It's a little confusing. Basically, it's about this girl, um, who makes this, um, new friend. She has a, um, um, a hard of hearing disability. Um, they're thinking that it's, um, Meniere's disease? I can't remember how it's pronounced. Um, but basically, someday she can hear, someday she can't. I'm trying to only shoot these in three minute limits in case I have to upload these to TikTok. I don't know if I have the ten minute feature or not. I don't know. Anyways, um, so, 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 um, she befriends this, uh, Colombian child, um, and they're using basically Google, uh, speech to text to text back and forth because, um, he can speak both languages, but he's more comfortable speaking Spanish and, uh, she can't really hear well at all. So she has to use a form of like social media or a pen and pad, whatever, iPads, whatever, to be able to speak to people that don't know ASL. She is also learning, so she doesn't know ASL that well. Um, but anyway, she befriends him. Um, and one day his dog decides that she took, she's going to hop a train and leave and, um, then starts to bond this <laughs> journey to go help, um, for Edda to go help, um, her friend find his dog. But it's really cool because, um, she's a lot like me. Um, when I was a kid, I imagined, like, this kind of alter ego superhero version of myself. Um, and I would always be like, what would she do if she was me? And it would kind of, like, kind of help inspire me. So she does do that a little bit. Um, she's very much into comics and stuff like that. It's very, very cute. There's a little bit of comic panel that's in the beginning, but I hope that there's more because it was cute. I don't like the way that it's, format it's formatted, though. <laughs> don't like the way it's formatted, though, because, um, well, just for right now, because um, the Nat Galley version does will not, will not uh, cooperate with my Kindle. So I'm having to read it on my computer and I'm having this, I'm having a little bit of issue trying to get onto my computer. So, <laughs> there's that. Yeah, so. It's just, guys, it's just been, like, such a hellish couple of days, couple of weeks. And I hope that this is the last bad, bad thing. Like, this is fixable. Everything's fixable. 
Um, but are you licking my pants? Anyways, everything's fixable. It's just very annoying. Um, and then I'm very annoyed that Daisy's sick. Not that she's sick, but she's such a good girl. She hardly makes a mess in the house when she's sick. But I'm annoyed because I get very concerned about her health and everything because of her cancer scare and everything. I just, I get annoyed. I'm, I'm very annoyed. I'm very sensitive, sensitive right now. So that's it. So I'm going to continue with Edda Invincible. Um, I let the... I let the um, e-computer copies lapse on Love Radio and bad things happen here, so I had to buy them. And it's just... Mm, so pissed. But yeah, that is, that, is, that is the update for right now. I'm going to try to cool down. Read. Try to get my life together. Maybe tomorrow would be much, much better. Maybe. But anyways, that is the update, so I will catch y'all up in a bit, hopefully with something that's a proper memory card, so I can vlog on a proper camera instead of this phone. I'm so sorry about this quality. But yeah, I'll catch y'all up in whatever format. <sighs> Hello, I don't know if the lighting, the lighting is the best in here, but we're back. Um, <laughs> it's been a day. It's like 6 p.m. now. Um, I've been doing things. I did get the witchery finished, and I got, um, it's all in how you fall finished. Super good. Um, so, the witchery is pretty good. I can tell it's there. I don't even know if I talked about this last. I think I did. Um, but anyways, I can just tell it's there. I finished the review. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy the finished copy. I just, yeah, it's, it's, it was just a little incomplete for me. Um, and, and the one that I finished today is It's All in How You Fall. It's okay, Sophia. Um, basically, that one is about this girl named Caroline. She's a super good gymnastics star. Um, like, got titles and stuff like that. And then, yeah, I'm going to get you a bed in a second. And then, um, she gets diagnosed with spinal stenosis after she takes... Um, a really bad tumble and can't get back up really good. She's not disabled or anything. Um, she can walk and everything, but the lining of like her spine and the nerves and stuff like that is really, really thin. So pretty much that's her retirement from gymnastics. And since that was such a big part of her life, she's really, really down. And um, her brother's best friend, who she kind of casually knows, um, is like, well, I'm going to cheer you up. I'm going to, like, every day we're going to play a new sport. So that way you can find something else that you can, um, love. Like, you love gymnastics. Um, it's a sports romance. It's really, really sweet. I would say it's a really good book for younger, um, YA readers. If they, if, like, 13-year-olds looking for, like, a contemporary book, that one would be pretty good. Um, the main protagonist is 15. Um, and besides, like, a handful of curse words there's, and talks of injuries, there's nothing really bad in that book. It's really good. Bye, bye, bye for that. Um, I made it 45% into The Curse of Spectacle Key. That one is so good. It's so good. Um, basically, it's about this little boy and his family. His family are flippers. It's not really said in the book. It's talked about. Um, but they were flippers. <laughs> so they go to these different towns and they buy these unique properties like churches and railroad stations. Um, and they fix them up into homes and they sell them for really expensive prices. And then they move on to the next project. So this poor kid has been in and out of school. He moves like every year. Um, and he was supposed to be able to stay in this town uh, for two years when his parents just unexpectedly sold the house. But they say that the next house that they get, they're going to stay there, um, and it's in the, the Keys. The Florida Keys, I think. I, I know there's a lot of Keys down there, but down there, down there, the Florida Keys. Ow. So, um, the lighthouse that they are specifically owning is in Spectacle Key, um, because the island's shaped like spectacle glasses. So, they get there, and the lighthouse is completely trashed. Um, and a string of bad luck things happen. 
um, leading to them to believe that the lighthouse is cursed. But something very odd happens when our protagonist goes to, uh, I think it's an abandoned house or something like that. But he goes somewhere and he meets with this girl who is dressed really weird, really old timey, and she needs help. So when he takes her to his parents' house to get help, or to the lighthouse, where, his, where I guess their new home is, um, to get help, um, his parents are like, what girl? We can't see anyone. So he has befriended a ghost. So it's going to be their journey to figure out what is going on with this. Um, it's super good. It's only 256 pages, so I think I'm going to be able to finish it maybe tonight when I'm doing like my cardio and um, my chores for tonight slash, or sorry, not tonight, tomorrow, because um, weekends are lots of chores today. But yeah, super good, and it was a really good idea that my husband had to listen to audiobooks while I do work. So thanks, honey. Um, but right now, we are going to sit, because the book I am currently reading, it, oh my gosh, I can't get it. <laughs> I'm going to have to put the cover up anyways, because um, I took the front cover off. But it is The Valkyrie's Daughter by Tiana Warner. Um, super good, basically about Vikings. Super good. I just started it and like 30 pages in, so I don't know what it's really about. Except that um, now Valkyries are attacking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're going to breathe. I'm going to set you to some lo-fi. And then at some point I'm going to call it a night. So I will catch y'all up in a bit. Bucky's end of the vlog for Friday. So I did end up reading a lot of um, The Valkyrie's Daughter. Um, I got to page 310, so I got 79 more pages to go. I thought I needed my friend, sorry. So I got 79 pages to go, so I'm going to finish it on the next vlog. So it should be like 10. I muted them. It's so creepy. Discord's wonky. Um, but yeah, I will be finishing that um, tomorrow because the review is due tomorrow. So I'll get that all done. I'm going to do chores. I'm going to work out. I'm going to read, read, listen, whatever you call it. It's reading. Um, to more of the Curse of, the Spe of Spectacle Key. And yeah, so I'll start the vlog from there. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next week. Bye.